What's up, y'all? So stand in tuning on this one. Keep on the fourth fret. Um, you got four chords in this one. You got to know an A minor. The way I'm going to play the A minor in this song is just going to be my middle finger on the sixth fret on the D and my index finger on the fifth fret on the B string. You got to know an F chord. And the way I'm going to play the F, it's going to, I'm using my thumb up here to cover the fifth fret, my ring finger on the seventh fret on the A, my pinky on the seventh fret on the D, and I'm keeping my index finger on that fifth fret fifth fret on the B, playing it like that. You can still do it just like a normal F major if you want when you're strumming. I just do this part for the, for the finger picking. Um, and I think it sounds a little bit better actually. So you can do either one, but if you can use your thumb, that chord's gonna sound a little bit better for the song. And then also a C major. And then a G, and then the G I'm gonna play, it's gonna be kinda like this C here, but you just bring these two up one string each. So ring finger on seventh fret on the E and your ring finger on the um, your pink your middle finger I'm sorry on the sixth fret on the E string. So you got A minor, this F, C major, and G. And those are the chords guys, so uh, let's get into this. Alright y'all so for the intro for this one. Now you start with this A minor chord shape and you're gonna hammer on with the open D. Just like that onto the sixth fret on the D string. And then you're gonna hit this A. So and then you're gonna I flick down these three strings here, the A, D, and G string. So like that. Okay, so that's how you start this out. And then you hit this D string and you hammer on with that sixth, hit the open G. So so And then after you hit that G, I pluck using my thumb on the E string, this fifth fret here, this F note that I'm gonna play, with that sixth fret on the D string. So, like this. Okay. Just like that. C major, but you're gonna to want to keep with that kind of hammer on on that sixth fret. So just keep it with that C chord, like that. And then hammer on the sixth again, open G. But then you're gonna have the open D, and then come back on that seventh fret on the A. So. So A minor, open six, hammer on there. G note, pluck the five and the six together on the E and the D string. Then C, hammer on, that six fret again. Hammer on open, G, open D, seven fret on the A. So that's your intro. Now it gets in the verse when he starts singing, you just gonna kinda hear the A minor. F to C. But he's still gonna do that hammer on the end with the C. You hear that. That's the verse, A minor, F, C, and do a little hammer at the end of the C. And at the very end of the last, last part of the verse, he just strums out on the C. And you'll hear that piano chord drop, but then it goes in the chorus. And now the chorus for this song is the exact same thing as the verse. It's just A minor to F to C.
first chord so you'll hear you'll hear go to that F and then you'll hear it strum out on that C again real hard with that little piano bass note that he hits. Okay? Then you go back in the second verse and it's same chords. But you're gonna hear him kind of pick it up with like a palm mute. same chords a minor F C but now at the end of the second chorus what you guys are gonna hear is he's gonna have so last line of the second chorus here he's gonna have this E held on okay and then it's gonna go A minor F and then it's gonna hold on the E for a while so you'll hear that so at the end of this so last line of the second chorus again here's, for a little while and then it's going to go back into like the breakdown part where it's going to be the last chorus oh you know what actually I'm sorry after so after you launch that C for a while again there's that last bridge part and it's A minor F C but then it's A minor this is where you get the G chord for the only time and it ends on that F, and then it goes in on the last chorus. So sorry guys, so let's clear the confusion. So after the last line of the second chorus, hold on to that C. Then it goes into the bridge part. So hold on to that C. with the chorus, but you'll hear him do that little intro riff again a little bit. And then you're gonna hear the last chorus that it ends with, so. Sorry, I got a little bit confusing in that part, but yeah, so you'll hear it in the song. You'll hear it hold on to the E for a while, and then you'll hear the A minor F, and then back to that E. And then the bridge part starts with A minor F, C, A minor, G, F. Okay, but you guys will hear that. Um, it'll be much less confusing when you listen to the song. But those are the chords. So, um, still a fun one to play, guys. So, have fun with it. So, you guys got any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll get to them. Any requests, I'll get to those as well. As always, thank you all for watching and take care.